again. Thank you. Yes, we are, did a very good job each other in United States and Japan too. Yes. And uh, I'd like to express my heart of gratitude. You have paid me a uh, very thoughtful consideration. I do want to express and to all you my deep regret about the transfers to your state.
Some of you didn't have it. Now, it's very beautiful, but from here on now, it will be half and we will soon be used to it. Well, it's been a great pleasure for me to renew the friendship that Prime Minister Nakasone and I began in January. And since today is the Prime Minister's birthday, we were especially honored that he could lunch with us here at the White House. And Mr. Prime Minister, let me just once again wish you a very happy birthday. The Prime Minister and I had <coughs> wide-ranging talks. We agreed that cooperation between our two countries continues to be essential to promoting our goals of international peace and democratic values in government. In addition to bilateral matters, we discussed a number of global issues in preparation for the Williamsburg Summit. We're in complete harmony on the central questions, especially concerning the necessity of the industrial democracies to work together to ensure that economic recovery is strong and lasting. In our common endeavors, Japan and the United States are fortunate to be able to draw on durable and resilient ties expanding, expanding or extending over 30 years. Today we've renewed those ties and I'm sure that the Prime Minister agrees that together we will succeed. And again, welcome. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. President. First of all, I would like to thank you, Mr. President, for your invitation and the most kind hospitality extended to me and my colleague. I am very happy to be back in Washington to renew my personal friendship with the President and many other good friends in this country. The the President and I have just completed a very productive meeting in which we have fully exchanged views on the issues of our common concern. This meeting was a part of the intensive consultations taking place between the President and myself since I became Prime Minister of Japan last November. We have reviewed with great satisfaction our overall bilateral relationship, which has made a further progress since my last visit here in January. We reaffirmed our conviction that any issue between our two countries can be solved through close and reasonable consultations between us since Japan-US partnership has its strong basis on shared values and interests. We have also agreed that we will continue to expand our cooperative relationship in such areas as foreign aid and our fight against cancer. Further, the President and I have discussed East-West relations the recent development of situations in Asia and the Middle East. We renewed our determination to keep working closely together to contribute to the world peace and prosperity. We also agreed that the Williamsburg Summit, which is to start tomorrow, will bear a very important role to restore hope and confidence to world economy when some encouraging signs are beginning to appear in some parts of the major economies 
including that of the United States. I have assured to the President that Japan will fully cooperate with the United States so that Williamsburg will be called a town of hope for the world. My visit to the White House today has been one of the most memorable occasions in my life, for today happens to be my 65th birthday, and the President has graciously celebrated my birthday at today's luncheon. Once again, I thank you very much, Mr. President, and all my good friends for rem remembering me in such a heartwarming manner. I look forward to attending the summit meeting at Williamsburg and to the entire stay in this country. Thank you.